Assalamu alaikum alaykum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. We hope you're preparing well for your Akhirah. Bayezid Bustami was a Persian Sufi. He was born in Bustam, Iran. He was a man of strong faith and Iman, a pure Muhammadi. The power of his Iman was so strong that non-believers would feel its influence when he would pass by. One day Hazrat Bayezid Bustami rahmatullahi while in meditation saw himself in a synagogue dressed as a Jew. At first, he was confused, but when he kept on seeing the same vision over and over again, he decided to enact it. So he dressed himself as a Jew and went to their synagogue. When the Jews and their scholars were present, their chief, Rabbi, stood up to speak. But when he stood up, his tongue became stuck and he could not talk. After he had been standing quietly for some time, the Jews started to complain. The Rabbi said, In this gathering there is a follower of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and I cannot speak because he has come to examine us. On hearing this, their anger raged like wildfire and they asked the Rabbi to give them permission to kill this follower of Prophet Muhammad وسلم. The Rabbi replied, He cannot be killed without proof, so we must talk to him peacefully and respectfully and then we can decide. The Rabbi then said, O follower of Muhammad وسلم, for the sake of your Prophet, stand up in your place. If you can remove our doubt about Islam, then we shall accept Islam. But if you can't, then we shall kill you. On hearing this, Hazrat Bayezid stood up and gave permission for them to question him. What is one and not two? Bayezid, Allah. What is two and not three? Bayezid, night and day. And we made night and day two examples. What is three and not four? The throne, chair and the pen of Allah. What is four and not five? The Torah, Bible, Psalms and the Quran. What is five and not six? The five compulsory prayers. What is six and not seven? By Yazid, the six days in which the earth, the sky, and whatever is in between them was created. And we created the sky and the earth, and whatever is in between them in six days. What is seven and not eight? The seven skies. Who created the seven skies, layer upon layer? What is eight and not nine? The bearers of the throne of Allah and they will lift their Lord's throne on themselves on that day, eight persons. Rabbi, what is nine and not ten? Bayezid, the villagers of Hazrat Saleh, peace be upon him in which the mischief mongers lived. And in that city there were nine persons who created mischief on the earth and they didn't amend. What is ten and not eleven? The person who performs a minor pilgrimage along with the major one, and doesn't have the capacity to sacrifice an animal, he has to keep ten fasts. So keep the three Hajj days and seven fasts when you return. Rabbi, what is eleven, twelve, and thirteen things which Allah has mentioned? By Yazid, Hazrat Yusuf had eleven brothers, the twelve months in a year. The number of months with Allah is 12 months. Hazrat Yusuf saw 13 things prostrating to him. I saw in a dream 11 stars, the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating to me. Rabbi, which is that nation which lied and went into paradise? And which is that nation which said the truth and entered hell? By Yazid, Hazrat Yusuf's brothers lied, but they went to paradise. The contradiction between the Christians and the Jews was true, but they went to hell. And the Jews said that the Christians are not on any path. And the Christians said that the Jews are not on any path, even though they all read the book. Rabbi, what is the meaning of by the ships that scatter broadcast and those that lift and bear away heavy weights and those that flow with ease and gentleness, 
and those that distribute by command. Bayezid, the meaning of flying scattered ships is air. The meaning of weight carrying ships is water filled clouds. The meaning of calmly sailing ships are boats. And the meaning of the last is the angels which distribute the sustenance. Rabi, what is that thing which has no soul nor any connection with breathing, yet it breathes? By Yazid, it is the dawn, for it has no soul, but it still breathes. And the morning when it breathes. Rabi, what are those fourteen things to which Allah talks with honor? By Yazid, the seven earths and the seven skies. Rabi, which is that grave which moves the person in it around? By Yazid, the fish of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam. Rabi, which is that water which neither came up from the earth nor down from the sky? By Yazid, the water which Hazrat Suleiman alayhi salam sent to Bilqis, queen of Sheba, because it was the sweat of a horse. Rabi, what are those four things which had no father nor were born from a mother's stomach? By Yazid, the sheep of Hazrat Ismail, the she camel of Hazrat Saleh, Hazrat Adam, and our mother Hawa alayhi salam. Rabi, whose blood flowed first on the earth? By Yazid, it was Habil's when Qabil killed him. Rabi, what is that thing which Allah created and then bought? By Yazid, a faithful soul. Allah bought from the Muslims their souls. Rabi, what is that voice which Allah created and then spoke ill of? By Yazid, the donkey's voice. Without doubt, the worst voice is of a donkey. Rabi, what is that creation that Allah created and from its greatness created fear? By Yazid, women scheming. Truly, mighty is your scheming. Rabi, what is that thing that Allah created and then asked about? By Yazid, the staff of Hazrat Musa. And what is that in your right hand, O Musa? He said, This is my staff. Rabi, who are the most pious of the women? By Yazid, the most pious women are Hazrat Asiya, Hazrat Khatija, Hazrat Aisha, and Hazrat Fatima. Rabi, which is the most blessed mountain and the most blessed animal? By Yazid, Mount Thur and the horse. Rabi, which is the best of all months and the best of all nights? By Yazid, the month of Ramadan and the night of power, the Laylatul Qadr. The month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. The night of power is better than a thousand months. Rabi, there is a tree which has twelve twigs. Each twig has thirty leaves, and each leaf has five fruits, two in the sun and three in the shade. What is the meaning of this tree? By Yazid, the tree means one year, the twigs mean twelve months, and the leaves represent the days, and the fruits are the daily prayers, two of which are prayed in the thirty day and the remaining three which are prayed at dawn, at dusk, and in the night time. Rabi, what is that thing that circled around the Kaaba in Makkah, even though it had no soul? By Yazid, the boat of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam. At the time of the flood, it arrived in Arabia and circled around the Kaaba. Rabi, how many prophets did Allah send as messengers? By Yazid, only Allah knows. But in narrations, it is said that Allah created 126,000 prophets from which 313 were messengers. Rabi, what are those four things whose root are one, but their colors and tastes are different? By Yazid, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. The wetness of the eyes is sour. The wetness of the ears is acidic. That of the nose is also acidic and the wetness of the mouth is sweet. Rabi, what is the voice of the donkey called? 
by Yazid, it is the curse on those who take interest. Rabi, what is the voice of dog called? By Yazid, doom on the dwellers of hell by the anger of Allah. Rabi, what is the remembrance of the ox? By Yazid, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al Azim. Rabi, what is the remembrance of the camel? By Yazid, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Rabi, what is the remembrance of the peacock? Huwal wadud dhul arsh al Azim. Rabi, what is the beautiful recitation of the nightingale? By Yazid, so remember the pure Allah when it is morning and evening. Rabbi, what is that thing which Allah sent revelation on, but it was not human, jinn or angel, Bayazid, the honeybee? And your Lord gave order to the honeybee. After this, the Rabbi couldn't ask any more questions and became quiet. Hazrat Bayazid rahmatullah said, Now you give me the answer to my one question. What is the key to paradise? The Rabbi replied, if I give the answer to this question, this gathering will kill me. The gathering shouted in one voice, We shall not do anything. Now tell us the true answer. The Rabbi then said, Listen, the key to paradise is, There is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad peace be upon him is his messenger. On hearing this, the whole gathering accepted Islam and Hazrat Bai Yazid Rahmatullah turned giving thanks to Allah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuhu.